TNGM the show presents Talking Nerdy March. We'll talk about the Acolyte trailer. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador, and our guest, special guest. Oh, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific. And so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. The Acolyte trailer. Yeah, yeah. That looks cool. They're doing it way before what is supposed to be like a hundred years. And I love like just seeing like the flood of lightsabers come on. And then there's like one, you know, red one or something. Ooh, there's they're even doing a light whip. I saw there's a light, there's supposed to be a light okay, whip. Okay, because I haven't seen that part of uh, yeah, it. They do it, absolutely. So, which brings in like, does that mean they're gonna do Lumaya from the you know from the from those comics i mean from the well i think she was in the comics but all the extended universe mm -hmm. that is not canon but then they keep on incorporating characters like darth things, bane yeah. and 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 stuff like that yeah uh but i i thought it looks really cool i'm totally down for it and but there there is some but the it seems like there has been some backlash I've seen backlash like just because people hate Disney Star Wars. They're just there's those people that are like I hate Disney Star Wars. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what, and they're just complaining no matter what. But there's apparently there's some people that hate it for other reasons. The, basically, uh, the person directing it was involved with uh, some uh, sex trafficking, you could say. Yeah, like uh, hate. <laughs> the, it's uh, Harvey Weinstein's former assistant, who was. Who got off clean while everyone else she associated with is in jail. Well, that makes things more complicated. Great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a little harder to separate the art from the artist when it's the, when those are the stakes, right? Indeed, it can um, be. Yeah, I'm very conflicted about watching it because of that. Because it's like, I don't want to support this person. Yeah. I mean, I, I've heard things, too, about how... There are some people that were brought in on this project that have no, that know nothing of Star Wars, just so that it's, so they don't, aren't like trying to repeat beats, you know, mm -hmm. or like trying to do anything that's been done before. Like they, they're just completely new to this universe and that could be a good or bad thing. So, Indeed. but also I'm sure they have people that do know this stuff. So it's like, well, if you mix the people, that's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, or it, it's just good to uh, like have an outside perspective, you know, Indeed. too. So especially with a new timeline, yeah. Like, to, like, unfortunately, I haven't read a lot of the novels from it. Yeah, I think it's like High Republic. Yeah, it's High Republic covering, era. So, so it's it's something that hasn't been explored in any live action medium yeah. at all for its time frame. After watching the trailer, I was just really excited about it because it's uncharted territory, mm -hmm. all for all intents and purposes. You know, yeah. We are not. At least, according to what we've seen so far, no Skywalker mentioned at all. No, like, it's just the the the, mis the mystic and the, mis the mysterious behind what's coming. There's yeah. something in the dark somewhere. And, of course, for something I didn't realize when I first watched it, but for those people that are, you know, big fans of The Hunger Games, the one of the characters is being played by the woman who played Rue back in the day. So, you know, it's nice to have another actress that many people might be familiar with come back, see what she's able to do with this. And especially such a huge property like Star Wars, you know, hearing about anybody coming in, putting their little stamp on it makes me excited. So, oh, yeah. What's her name from uh, The Matrix? Yes. You know, with, so oh, I gosh, see her. Carrie and I'm like, and now. Yes. I'm like, yes. I'm like okay. You know. <laughs> so, I mean, I love the Darth Bane books. I love KOTOR. So I love... That stuff, so I'm like, I'm. That's why I'm, I'm in. I mean, and it looks awesome to me. So, so we'll see. I think, I feel like the strength of Disney Star Wars, obviously, has been in their shows. Mm, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Because I've loved so much of. I love Andor. I love Kenobi. I love Ahsoka, Mandalorian, 
And I feel like all those shows are slightly different. They hit on different aspects of Star Wars. And and I love that. So So something we'll you'll we'll probably cover later, I assume. You know, yes. They, they we're all excited. Absolutely. About this, so. We'll we will, absolutely for sure. So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt talk nerdy to me because of course um if you've heard akira toriyama passed away which is such an uh, such an icon such a legend is of course dragon ball but he also did like chrono trigger and then he did dragon quest games yes yeah, so he he's just like it's so crazy when people go all he did was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's, nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how, how I, he's changed, obviously, even, uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America, even, right? Because yep, they indeed. came, they were there before they, they were in, in the States, so like they're they're huge. It's huge everywhere, and it's so crazy the influence of the guy just made drawings and and wrote some stuff, and that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that, and make let's create, let's make those stories right, Absolutely and inspire awesome. people to work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So yeah, and then I also got uh my. Asul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but I, I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. So, especially if you're not like into superhero stuff, I, I think like you won't notice a lot of the things i won't say ripped off but definitely you know we're taking notes from like iron man and, and mm -hmm. i mean there's so much right there's so much now yeah. but yeah uh what about you guys well i mean that pretty, pretty much sums it up for me there's a lot of good stuff coming out you know so but you got the out. halo i did get the halo shirt right here so you know and we're gonna have to hook, we're gonna have to hook him up with the star trek oh, you know yes, absolutely we'll, we'll get that star trek merch yeah. out there we don't have much now but like i said we'll start pumping it out mm -hmm. uh so yeah so for sure we'll oh no, they might just all forget about star trek like how everyone conveniently forgot about michael and discovery <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, i've no. ever seen in my life <laughs> it, basically michael burham the main character when they go into the future they're like okay well we're all gonna forget about this character just all interesting that was really things. like literally what they said it was bad oh man i'll have to check it out yeah. I love uh, I I love the main chick though. Oh my gosh, she was also wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um, but I mean, I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh, Discovery. So, and I know there's other stuff that's been really good. I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. What's what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know uh, there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad uh, things, but Beyond mostly has been good. Pretty Brave solid. New, Beyond, yes, Beyond. Brave is New the other World one. is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere too. I think, uh, I think, no, yeah, not um, Beyond um, Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. That's yeah, the one that's I've one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even that's Lower Decks. Basically, uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise, and so it's. Uh, Focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we? You know, <laughs> beam swords. Beam swords. You know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like 
And, you know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like, we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great. Yes. But, yeah, there's, there's so much stuff. So, and what's great, too, is so every month we donate 5% of our profits to charity. So, help us help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month it was noble. I forget. I know that for April we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please help us so that we can give, get help them out. Right? We want to. We want to make a positive influence on our society, on our world. Absolutely, you know. Absolutely yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well of course at the top of that list and always at the top of that list we have to give out a shout out to our best bud atticus who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his youtube channel mm -hmm. as a youtuber in vietnam as a teacher in vietnam and just showing us you know slice of life you know anything any really anything goes like i mean now he's covering he's he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune on his, so he, he has nerdy stuff too. Like, we've inspired him to, to do some nerdy stuff on his channel. So definitely check him out. He's one of the greatest. Uh, we have Burn Kenshin, the, the superpower list. Check them out on Facebook and definitely on X. We also added, uh, there's Gone Gold Podcast, Po Boy Pod, Billy D's, G Mart 8, Pesky Gremlins. They retweet us a lot, so they're awesome. Cinematic Anarchy, Filmmaker Pod, uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde. They're, uh, they're across the board. They do uh, on, oh, online web comics and stuff. Nice. And, and I just yeah. love I just love the message that they send. Like they're, Everything that they say is so inspirational. Mm -hmm. So definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time so you don't have to. It's, and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like some stuff you're like, oh, I thought that was going to be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're going to spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Like we have to spoil it so that you, you know, do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service, they do music and promote music. Amerame Media, they, they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV, they do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin67. And then newly added is G Nuts of Horror. So if you're into horror, definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them. So that's where you're going to your, get your horror stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share us. You know, with your friends, your family, your dogs, you know, your pets, whatever. Let's talk. Let's keep talking about this stuff. You yeah, know, get, is... get, uh, yes. Yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're more than halfway there so that we can cover more stuff for you. And, and like I said, like us on, on Facebook and, and help us out. You know, we really appreciate it. We love it. Thank you for getting, uh, where we, where you've gotten us to now on, on, on everything. We're, we're, we're on everything. We're on X. We're on the threads. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube, of course. So, talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.